on you guys like the way you got to another one take review it this is my review of marvel's runaway season two i gotta say season two i, I like season one season one was good to me season two is just a it's not a even it's not a completely different show it's just it's on a completely different level season two of runaway blows season one out the like completely away and i'm like this is like the non-spoiler verse. I don't know if I'm going to do a spoiler review. I want to, but it's so much to cover. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to. But, and this one, I'll just give you like the brief rundown. The kids have run away, of course. They, 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 in the season one, they finally ran away. <laughs> and and so they, they're trying to hide out from their parents while at the same time take down their parents because they feel like their parents, well, their parents are murderers. It's not, it's not that they feel like their parents are murderers. Their parents are, are, are murderers. And so we had the stuff with Jonah. Jonah's still in the picture, and and, and we and we trying to get get him taken care of. We trying to get out. They found us taken care of at, while at the same time surviving on the street. I have one, I'm, and I'm gonna get my one big negative about season two out the way right now. They never got dirty like that. For for people living on the street, they had a well su good supply of clothes clean shoes and stuff like that and they never stink I, I, I know living on the street it's, it's not as easy as they made it seem they uh they made it look flawless like like far as like <laughs> clothes and everything else like it it was crazy how good like it they they looked throughout the season but other than that i had no other problem the writing in season two of runaway was by far some of the best writing like i couldn't predict anything okay well it was a couple of things you know what i'm saying just a couple of things you know it's just like gimmies but overall I, I like i don't think it was just a season two where you just predicting this happened or this happened it was there were so many betrayals so many like double crosses triple crosses like you never knew what to expect and every time you thought you knew where it was going it would flip and something else would happen uh you got more development out of the characters and not just the kids. Like, this show does a good job. In, in a show where you have seven kids as your main protagonist and you have uh, uh, eight adults as, like, your, your your antagonist and nine, including Jonah, they do a good job at, like, well, I think it might be more parents. Than that. They do a good job at uh, distributing time uh, uh, throughout all the characters so you get time with each character and like they introduce you to new characters like you have Darius and his family and how that affected Alex and what Alex having to do with Darius to, to, to take care of his friends and like it's crazy because then the lines are like good guy and bad guy in this in this season really start to get blurred because you don't know necessarily like they got mad at their parents for doing certain things but now they starting to do things that they never thought they would have to do and then, then you kind of see like Okay, your parents did this for this reason, but you're doing you're doing something not equally as bad, but but pretty bad for the exact same reason. So, I <laughs> it does a lot. Uh, standouts for me this season will have to be Ryan Sands. He plays Jeffrey uh, Jeffrey Walters Walker. Oh, so it's Alex Dad, uh, Alex and Nico. Those three characters for me. Well, like the stand up Nico and her mom have like a couple fights throughout. Like they have one fight at the end. I just that's not a spoiler. Just saying they have a fight. They have a, it's like some. She has some action scenes that are like great, like grade A, and and it has me kind of wondering it, because you want to you want to explore these characters more and more because there was I think episode six of episodes. I think it's episode six or seven. It feels like the end of the show. Like, it felt like the season finale. When I, I watched it, I'm like, right, this, I know I got six more episodes to go, but this could have been like the season finale right here. And like, and then you, you keep going and find out there's more to explore and, and a lot more. It's super, super good. So overall, I, I just, this, this, like, like I said, I think everything was a step up this season. Oh, another thing, I, I Molly character just really get on my nerves. I know she's a young, she's a young teenager. You know what I'm saying? That's, she's supposed to be kind of chippy and stuff. But maybe because where I'm from, teenagers ain't that chippy. They more or less they grow up 
too fast, I guess, or they, they a little bit more mature for their age still. Uh, so, but, so I'm not used to just seeing some. I think I got. I, I got to think where they come from is different from where I came from. They, they come from like this. They were rich. So, put it simple, they were rich. And so I'm not used to just seeing like rich people just one on one. I'm not. Used, and then they, they rich and they live in California. So <laughs> two things on they side. They pretty much they a, a good and a, a very good vibe, a whole vibe out there. And like they, they really didn't have any words. So. Because I think if you put somebody in for this same position, like you take them and put them in a position, they'd probably be like, ah, our dad is with, our parents were doing what? Oh, we was getting paid? We still paid, right? I oh, cool that. <laughs> like, no cap, bro. This is crazy. But, yeah, I definitely think season two is a step up. And I think it's one of the best Marvel seasons. Like, this is, the writing in this was on some Daredevil season three, season one type stuff. Okay, like it was that good. Like it, this was like probably one of the best written superhero show seasons out of every season of every show DC Marvel or whatever. Like this was a very very well written. They took their time and I think they all uh, the storylines worked for me. Uh, what they did at the end worked for me, and it, it really got you excited for season three because now you don't know what's gonna happen. You and you looking. There's a certain there's a certain thing that's going on at the end of this season, where you wondering like, wait, who could it be? Who and like because there's a lot of crosses within the circles between the kids and the parents. It's like it's not like hey, we never see it. They never see their parents. No, they see their parents a lot. They interact with their parents a lot. It's just you got to be able to keep them there. You know what I'm saying and. <laughs> This this was a super fast season, probably one of my favorite seasons of any comic book show. Period. So uh, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not I don't usually score like seasons uh, if I'm being honest. So I'm probably not gonna score this, but I just will say go watch it because it is exceptional. The writing is exquisite, the acting is great, uh, storylines are are, are are just superb. Like I can't give this thing enough praise. Like it's 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 great. Like simply put. Runaway season two is great. So uh you guys let me know what you thought about down in the comments. Hit me with all those your, your predictions, your thoughts. Uh and you know what I when I say predictions and thoughts, what if you finish season two, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.